Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. You don't like the export mode? Let's find out how to bypass the export mode. All right, so Adobe heard you loud and clear, you export mode haters out there. I, I like the export mode. Um, you can now just go directly to Media Encoder. There's a keyboard shortcut. Let me show you. So typically you go to the export mode here and you get all of these options, but some people don't like filtering through all of these settings in here. So instead, and this really does depend on what you have selected. If you have this selected or that selected or this selected, it's going to export whatever has this blue highlight around it or what is selected in the uh, project panel. So we're going to export out this particular timeline here and send this out. So in the file menu, export, export media, which was there before, this is the new one, send to media encoder. Alt-Shift-M on Windows, Option-Shift-M on the Mac. So when I click on this, it's going to launch Media Encoder, and there it is set ready to go. Now you can change these settings here of, of, of where it goes and the format. So you, the last one I exported out was H.264, but I could have chosen QuickTime and you can change all of these and change the location by clicking here and then picking an export out to there. You can also duplicate this here. So if you wanted to duplicate this and output a different version of that, you could do that all within here. So again, keyboard shortcut or through the file menu. But you can also send more than just the current timeline. If you had three or four different sequences in the project panel, select them, select the, the export from file menu or the keyboard shortcut, and you'll send all of those. So multiple things can be sent to um, Media Encoder and you can change the format of all of them and the export location. So let's just try that with media. So I could select this whole folder if I want, but I'll just select some of these uh, clips. Same kind of idea, file, export, send to Media Encoder. Now if we go to Media Encoder, there they are. They're all showing up at the same time. Now they're all the same format. If I change here, it's not going to change all of them. But if I select all of them now and change them, then you'll see all of them are changed to QuickTime. The same with the output location here. If I click on the output location and then go to my test folder, select, they'll all change at the same time. So any of those work and you can also drag in presets that you might have set down here. So media encoder, if you like having this old export uh, setting that, that was previous before the export mode, you can still have that. It's in Media Encoder, and that's how you can send stuff from Premiere Pro directly to the Media Encoder, whether it's timelines or media. So that's a pretty simple tutorial, really, but it's an important one for the people who don't like the export mode, find it too big, uh, too cumbersome to deal with. I like it because I don't do a lot of customized outputs. I pretty much export um, either QuickTime 422 or H.264 almost exclusively in WAV files too. So the export mode for me is very good. I love having the big preview display, but a lot of people didn't like it. This also shows that Adobe is really listening to you. So the squeaky wheels out there, you, you got what you wanted. Adobe listened and they gave it to you. Hey, if you're new to Video Revealed and you found this informative, take a moment and subscribe. You want to support us more, you can do that on videoreveal.com slash shop. Support us once, once or monthly, any amount. We really do appreciate all of our wonderful donors. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to uh, take note of some of these updates, let you know that uh, they're there. You might have missed them so that you can get the export output modes you like the best.